Hey folks, welcome to Firefly Spallies. I hope that you enjoy the video today. If you do, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. It really does help my channel out. And if you have not subscribed, I hope that you will and that you'll stick around for a while. So today I am doing some SpaghettiOs. It's really, really super easy to do them. So to start with, I opened a pint of my marinara sauce and I added a half a pint of water to it and I'm just whisking that together. I I do need I did need to add the water because I'm going to be canning dry pasta and it will absorb a good amount of the liquid. So it's it's important that the water go in it and I am going to be using Ditalini pasta. I usually use the Cremette rings, but I can't find them. I've been to four stores and I can't find them anywhere. So, Ditalini it will be. So this is super simple. This is not an FDA or Alphabet Agency approved canning process. So this is not an instructional video. I'm simply showing you what I do in my kitchen. I encourage you to do the research and do what works for you in your kitchen. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a scant quarter cup, so maybe a teaspoon under a quarter cup of pasta to each of my jars and then I'm going to top them up to a one inch head space. I'm going to clean the rims. I'm going to put the lids and rings on and then I'm going to put them in my canner and I'm going to bring it up to steam and vent for 10 minutes. Once that 10 minutes is up I'm going to process them for 15 minutes and when that 15 minutes is up I'm going to let them come down off of pressure naturally then I'll take the lid off and let them sit for about five minutes before I take them out. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with a quarter cup of pasta in each of my jars. And just so I don't make a mess with it, I'm going to grab a funnel. And again, I'm using a scant quarter cup, so it's not quite a quarter cup per jar. And I'm only doing six. I don't eat this a lot, but I do like to have it available so that I can grab it and take it with for me, take it with me for my lunch on occasion. Every once in a while, I just need to revert back to childhood kind of day. Now I don't can this. I love spaghettios with the mini, with the mini meatballs, but I don't can this with meatballs because in order to do that, I would have to do it at meat times and the pasta just turns to a big block of mush in the bottom of the jar. So I have my pasta in. Now I'm going to add my watered down marinara to a one inch headspace. Hopefully I have enough. Well, that is not quite enough. So this one will be a little bit watery. Let's see if I can get any more out of my jar. I will be right back. Alright, so this one jar is going to be a bit watery, but that's okay. I'm the only one that's going to eat it. Nobody will know except me. And I'm still going to have to grab just a little bit more. Okay, now I'm going to grab a paper towel and some vinegar. I'm not to debubbling, and I'll show you why in just one second. I'm going to grab some vinegar and a paper towel. I'm going to wipe the rims, and as I do it, I'm going to grab a lid and a ring, put it on fingertip tight, 
give it a shake and put it in the canner. I do these a lot like I do the See, and that one has already kind of stuck together. So, just want to make sure that they're not clumped together. I do this a lot like I do my macaroni and cheese when I can mac and cheese. Alright, I'm going to get my lid on. I'm going to bring this up to steam and let it vent for 10 minutes. Once that 10 minutes is up, I'm going to let them process for 15 minutes and then I will shut them off. I will let them come down off of pressure naturally. And once they're off of, once they, once it has released all the pressure, I'll take the lid off and let them sit for about five minutes before I take them out. And when it's time to take them out, I'll bring you back and show you the next steps. Okay, I... <clears throat> brought them up to a steam and I vented them for 10 minutes and then I brought them up to pressure and I let them process and I let them come down off of pressure and took the lid off and they've been sitting for about five or six minutes so now I'm going to start taking them out and I've been hearing them seal doesn't seem to be any siphoning and with these, what I'm going to do is in about 20 minutes or so, I'm going to give them a gentle shake just to kind of redistribute the pasta. But the pasta cooked in the sauce. And again, I did this with Didalini pasta, not with the cremette rings because I couldn't find the rings. But if you can find those, those actually make classic what you expect to find SpaghettiOs. I just wasn't able to find them. So oh, there was another one that sealed. So there you have it. This is how I make and can homemade SpaghettiOs. I really hope that you enjoyed the video today. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. It really does help my channel out. And if you have not subscribed yet, I hope that you will and that you'll stick around for a while. If you hit the notification bell, YouTube should notify you based on your settings. Y'all, thank you so much for watching today. Y'all have a great day.